YouTube, D4G here, banging out another video. Hey, today is a big day, man. This is an important day. I'm bringing y'all the first fragrance with the company that I partnered with. Now, I didn't make it or anything like that. Please understand, they definitely made it. I have no hands in that part. But they reached out to me and asked me to talk about the fragrance on YouTube. So and review and give y'all my honest thoughts. So that's what we're gonna do and that's what we are about to talk about. So, so if y'all wanna hear about a new fragrance coming from New Orleans that's gonna represent that Bourbon Street nice, y'all gonna wanna stay tuned for this one. But y'all know what it is, man. Go ahead and roll my shit and then let's get into it. YouTube, D4G here, man. So as you've seen in the intro, we have a collab partnering going on right now. So we're gonna be talking about the company Heads Parfums. Before we do that, gotta get to the YouTube thing. Shout out to all my new subscribers out there. Welcome. If you're new, over here on this side of YouTube, we talk about FFL, football, fragrance, lifestyle. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so that you can be updated anytime we drop this content. And to all my OG subscribers, them A1 since day one. Ah, salute, fam. Hope everything is good with you. Hey man, this is a big day. Like I said, I got my first partnership with Heads Parfums. This is a company out of New Orleans, out of Louisiana, man. And they're special in artisan perfume inspired by the enchanting city of New Orleans. Now the fragrance that we're gonna be talking about is called Bourbon Street. And with the name like Bourbon Street, you can expect it to be a, a tribute to the experience that you get when you're in New Orleans. You got the intoxicating smell from the restaurant, the sound of jazz coming from all over, with a bit of whiskey and tobacco in the air. If y'all have ever been to New Orleans, you know what it's like. It's live, it's festive, it's parties, it's always moving. It's always sleeping. I'm not gonna say it's New York, but they damn sure do they thing down there in New Orleans. You will have a good time out there. And that's what Bourbon Street Eau de Parfum is gonna remind you of. You get reminded of the French Quarter in New Orleans, man. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get a tester strip so we can see what this fragrance is about. And let's see if it's, if it's worth checking out. Now this is a 5ml sample and they do sell 5mls as well. You can get a 5ml for 10 bucks or you can get a 30 ml for 40 bucks. And they are Eau de Parfum concentrations, so we're gonna see what the fragrance is hitting on. I haven't smelt it yet, so let's check it out. Yeah, 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 we Gucci, we Gucci. Okay, nice praise for all of the, hey, this atomizer is better than the ones that they give you in Macy's, that's for sure. Ooh. <laughs> hey. So before I even smell this, I can smell this bitch already. Look, I don't have too many boozy fragrances. So this is gonna be a nice addition to the collection, especially if it's a nice boozy. But I can already smell this shit, bruh. It's okay, so on top, you got boozy. You have some spices, like a cinnamon soft spice. Nothing too hard, nothing like a black pepper, nothing, but you do have spices. It could just be just regular spices. I also have like a sweetness like a faint sweetness in there. I think that could be like some type of apple. But that bourbon note is strong. I, I look, that bourbon note, that boozy factor is there on this one. And it's nice. It doesn't smell overly complex. Like you smell what you're getting. You're getting bourbon, I'm getting apple, I'm getting spices. And this is all in the initial opening. And the best part about this is, I'm not getting no synthetic smell i'm not getting no alcohol no syntheticness nothing like this is a really good fragrance i like it i like it now i will say it doesn't smell as dense so hear me out when you spray it in the opening you get hit with a nice cloud very nice cloud very nice bubble around you as you let it sit there not saying that it goes away but it's not as intense as it was in that initial opening now this still smells like a fragrance that you're not going to have to worry about performance on so it's definitely not along the lines of like a Mercedes-Benz fresh type of fragrance or a much more softer fragrance that only gives you about five hours. You're gonna, you're gonna get at least seven, it's smelling like. 
put it on all man. I'm liking this. Let me see the note breakdown real quick. That way I can let y'all know exactly what's in this. All right, man, so I'm looking at the notes. It's saying up top there's apple and cinnamon. Mid, we have tobacco, bourbon, as well as tonka bean. And in the base, sandalwood, cedar, as well as vanilla bean. So I'm kind of eager to see what's gonna happen and how this is gonna play out. Because again, I'm getting a lot more apple in the opening, but I'm curious to see how it's gonna transition when it works its way from that apple sweetness more so towards the vanilla and tonka sweetness that it's gonna have in the back half of it. But the opening is wet, bro. The opening was good. I'm rocking with the opening heavy, especially because again, that bourbon boozy feel mixed with that apple as well as some cinnamon, the spices that it has in there. And that's really what you get in the opening of it. I'm not getting too much. I think I'm starting to pick up a little bit of the tobacco, but it's not big yet. The main players that you are gonna notice is again, that bourbon for sure. This smells like the type of fragrance that you would wanna wear going towards an event like Bourbon Street, or even just going out like brunch, happy hour where we might be doing a night with the fellas now i will say this this could be used for day evening or night but it might be a little bit better in the evening or nighttime it just seems like it might have a little bit more appeal for the evening to nighttime not too early in the day not no 12 o'clock in the afternoon type of stuff but you could still wear it during that time i'm not saying you can't i'm liking this man for it to be a new company because they just established in last year i think so they're just not getting off the ground going and for this to be their signature fragrance, this is a pretty good signature fragrance. They're getting their foot planted into the ground just right with this one, because with what's this replicating, as far as the inspired inspiration that's behind it with Bourbon Street, the New Orleans vibes and the New Orleans feel, this is a fragrance that encompasses that very nicely. Hey, I'm rocking with this, man. I might wear this this weekend. Hairs Parfums, again, I'm gonna have a link in the description for anybody that wanna check it out. They did give me a promo code to use, so I will have that down there as well. D4G15, you get 15% off your entire order. And like I said, right now they have a five ml decant that you can get for 10 bucks. Or if you wanna get the full presentation, you can get a 30 ml and that'll be $40. And again, you get 15% off, just use the code D4G15 and they'll be able to get you that 15% off when you check out. But that's gonna be the video right there, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Are y'all big on boozy fragrances? How do y'all feel about those? Me, I'm liking this one because I don't have too many fragrances in my collection that just give off that boozy feel. This is really one of the first ones that I'm able to get my hands on and I like it. So it's gonna start opening up the gateway for other boozy bourbon style fragrances that might have a little bit of tobacco spices, whatever but just bourbon inspired fragrances. This is gonna open the gateway for that. So I'm happy with this pickup. Shout out to Has Parfums again. I will have a link to their website in the description if you wanna check them out. But with all that being said, we about to get up out of here. I hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all have a phenomenal day. Stay on your square, stay on your purpose. Don't let nobody take you off of it, man. D4G truly blessed. That's the full greatness. Yeah.